I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a saber-toothed tiger. I take one finger on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a small curve line up, little curve line up, medium sized curve line up, big curve line up, down, and all the way over, and leave it floating. Right on the right hand side where we ended, we're going to go zig. Zag, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Bring it in and leave it floating. Come back to the right hand, I mean the left hand side, right where our dot is, and we're going to draw straight line down, slightly curve line in, curve line down, little curve line down, straight line up and leave it floating. Come back over here to the left right where our dot was and we're just going to add a little curved line. Come inside right here at this point and we're going to draw a curved line up, curved line down, connect. We're going to put a little curved line inside. Come over to this section right here and we're just going to draw a curved line down, keep going, connect. Right here on the edge, we draw a curved line down, up, connect, do it again, curved line down, up, connect. Right on this point, we're just going to draw a curved line up, connect. Come inside right about here and put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a curve line out, curve line down, zigzag, 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 connect. Come all the way down on the bottom. Right about here, we draw a curve line out, curve line down, curve line up, up, and leave it floating. Right about here, we're going to add a curve line down, come inside, and we're going to draw curve line down, curve line out, curve line up, straight line. Leave it floating. Jump over, and now we draw slightly curve line up, curve line down, curve line, curve line up. Leave it floating. Come over here on the right hand side and we're just going to draw a curve line down. Come right about here and we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line down, over, up, curve line, connect. Okay? Now we can add some more lines. Come over here and add another line, curve line, connect. Come down to the bottom. Draw me one, two, three little curved lines. 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 Okay. Now, come back over here and we're just going to draw wavy, 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 wavy line. Leave it floating. Come back a little bit wavy, wavy, wavy line, leave it floating. Work your way down, wavy, wavy line, leave it floating, wavy, wavy line, leave it floating. Now, just so it looks like he's not floating in outer space, just draw me a slightly wavy line, slightly wavy line, slightly wavy line, okay? I think that's all, we're ready to color. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I knew I'd forget something. I forgot dots on my muzzle, so just do those real quick. Now, we take a black crayon 
and we color in our noses right here in our eye. Now this saber tooth tiger has four layers of color. We always start with the lightest and what we're going to do is wherever there is a black line we're going to put a little bit of yellow all the way down and around. Now you can't really see what we're doing quite yet but you will once we start adding the other colors. So bring it all the way out and down because you want a little bit of yellow on all of these wavy lines. Bring it down, get it a little bit on his legs, okay, and a little bit inside his ear. Now take a red and let's just color this part of his tongue. Okay, he looks pretty ferocious. Then I got two colors of brown. Now if you don't have two different browns, you can use your one color brown and just do it light and dark. So I'm just going to put a light coat of my first brown and I'm going to follow my, zig, my uh, wavy lines get his tummy, get his legs, bring it up, wavy wavy line, make sure you do that big part of his back, bring down to his tail, get those legs in, and you're giving another coat of color on your tiger. Add a little bit inside his ear. Okay, then you take another brown, if you have it, and you loop-de-loop -loop lightly over all the other colors. So now you should have yellow, a light brown, a dark brown, covering up all the fur inside your tiger. Now, keep going, fill in all the space. Don't be too concerned if you're going over colors and it looks like it's disappearing because it'll show up later on. Make sure you get those feet. Make sure you get the tummy, his back, and his tail. Okay? Then, just to add a little bit of definition to him, you take your black crayon and you just kind of go over some of the parts you already did. You don't want to add too much black, but you can add a little bit of black just for some definition. Don't go too crazy. That's why you do black last. You can always add more. You can't take it away. Okay? Let's see what this tiger looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my saber tooth tiger all colored in. You know, it would be kind of cool to cut him out, put him on a stiffer piece of cardboard, and have him stand up. Okay, bye.